Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. And today I'm going to tell you about some uh, simple uh, simple question I ask uh, my students and it's really interesting because they will always answer, even they answer in French, they will op always answer in what I say uh, French uh, Chinese, which means uh, they will answer with the Chinese mind and uh, in the Chinese way. And this uh, question is very simple, it's about family. So whenever I ask my students, tell me about your family or tell me um uh, tell me about your family, tell me about your parents. They will all always answer the same. They will always uh, say the same. They will always say uh, there are three people in my family. There is my mother, there is my father and there is me. <laughs> or there are four people inside my family. There is uh, my mother, there is my father, there is me and there is my brother. They will always answer this way, always. And you can ask this question uh, anywhere in China, you will always get the same answer. There are three people in my family, there are four people in my family, there are five people in my family. Which, uh, or, which makes no sense, because uh, from a Western point of view, uh, the way you see the family, it makes sense from a Chinese point of view, but doesn't make sense from a Western point of view. And it tells us a lot, again, about the perception of the family. It tells us a lot about the perception of the family in um, in China, as opposed to uh, the perception of the family in in, uh, in France and in the West. So in the West, uh, you always start from yourself. So you say, I have one brother, or I have one sister, or I am a long, uh, long uh, how to say, a lonely child, or a lone child, a lone child, not lonely child, I'm a lone child. Um, but in China you always say, there are three people in my family. Uh, of course you have a father, of course you have a mother, everybody has a father and a mother, so why do you say there are three people in your family, there is my mother, there is my father, really, there is your mother, I thought you didn't have any any mother, I thought you were a clone or something, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, yes, in, in so in France, we'll, of course, we'll say always start from yourself, because we start from the individual, always start from yourself, I have um, a daughter, or I am married, I have a daughter, or I have, I have a brother, or uh, I have a sister, and you will not speak about your your your, your parents because the parents uh, everyone has parents, and the parents I think it shows two things. First, it shows that um, in the West we always start from ourselves. You see, you, we always start from ourselves. So I have one brother, I have one sister, and it's also it shows that um, uh, the parents are not really part of the family. The parents are, of course. They are there to give to the to the um, to the children. The parents they are there to give to you. They are not there um, for anything else. It's not like I have three people inside my family. The, the parents they are there for you. They are there for you. So you don't mention the parents in the West. We don't mention the parents. The parents are just there to to raise you, to take care of you. But here in China it's not the same. The parents are part of the group. And you are part of the group, and everyone, everyone is part of the group. So this is really a difference uh, in perception. Everyone is part of the group, and as the son, you will need to be part of the group and to sustain your parents when they get older. But in the West, is uh, the parents you don't mention them. So you say, tell me about your family. Uh, I I have one brother. I I have one sister. The parents, of course, they are there. You don't talk about the parents. They have their own life. You have your own life. So it also tells us about this. It's very interesting anyway, and I wanted to share this with you. Uh, there are many uh, others, uh, such, uh, such things, you know, that are based on the culture. I will tell you, uh, I will tell you more. So there are many ways uh, when I speak with my students in French uh, or in English, uh, then um, the ways that they speak is, is in fact uh, is uh, ch Chinese uh, Chinese English or Chinese French means they will they will express themselves in a typical Chinese way uh, based on the based on the Chinese perception. So it's, this is interesting. I will leave you for now. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye everyone.